In this video, we're going to make a fluttering sail for a simple sailboat. Now, I've got a sailboat here created by one of my students. And I'm going to isolate these elements so I can only see the mast and the sail. Now, with the sail selected, I'll go to Deform Nonlinear Sign, and that will put a sign deformer on the sail geometry. This shows up as a thin green line like most nonlinear deformers do, and it affects the sail. That's why you see it turning purple when the deformer is selected. That means there is a connection. You go to the Sign 1 tab, and you'll see the controls for the Sign Deformer itself. Now, setting amplitude will create height for the Sign Wave, making the geometry move. And the offset parameter allows you to kind of move that sine wave up and down the length of the deformer. So I'll set a key for the offset early in the animation, and then again with a different offset value at the end of the animation. And when I play it back, it looks like it's fluttering in the wind. Now notice that the top and the bottom of the sail are moving against the mast. So I'm going to use the attribute drop off. Setting the drop off close to 1 makes the top and the bottom part of the sail remain at the mast, meaning the deformer will not affect that part. Now, I'll go ahead and add a little bit more of an offset so I get more of that movement, and there we have it. One thing to note, that moving the deformer itself is going to mess up your deformation. I want the deformer to move along with the sailboat itself. So what I'm going to do is take a look and see that I've got a group for my ship up here. What I need to do is group it under that node. So with the middle mouse button, I'll drag the sign one handle object over to group one, and it will parent it under that group. Now the whole unit moves as one and doesn't mess up my deformations. Now I'll go ahead and set keyframes for the movement of the ship. And you can see it's moving along quite nicely with a little bit of a flutter on the sail.